We're starting. Hi, everybody. This is Katie Merriman, and it's Fridays on 42nd Street. Tim just got himself a little cameo, I think. <laughs> uh, we're here on the stage. Obviously, things are going on back here, and things are going on downstage here with our Foley artists from our uh, holiday show, Playhouse on the Air presents Miracle on 34th Street. We are here with Jerry and Susan Eisenhower, and they're going to show us some of the fun Foley sound effects that we are using in our radio show. So, first of all, is this your first rodeo at the old Foley table, or have you both had other experience doing this? Tell us, tell us about your Foley. Um, where we lived in Illinois, we were involved in a theater group there, and one year when it came up to Christmas, we didn't have a Christmas show, and we were a little desperate in a tiny little theater. But we, somebody said, oh, we could do It's a Wonderful Life with this Lux Radio Theater thing. And we had a lot of fun doing it, and I did the sound effects for that. Uh, a lot of those were recorded things and they had it on the computer and that Ooh. wasn't nearly as much fun. Yeah, we the like the live year, stuff. Oh yeah, so I think. the next year we switched and did almost everything live. Which cool. Was a lot more fun. It's more fun for the audience and it's more fun for the person doing it. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, we weren't doing a complete costume, we just suggested the 40s. Sure. Um, and then Jerry, Jerry, you run our final act ensemble, which is our own radio uh, group for people 60 years and over at the Playhouse. So I imagine you've done most of, most I've any job. <laughs> I, I acted, I direct, uh, I write some of the scripts or rewrite some of the script and sometimes in a pinch I'm the Foley artist <laughs> or the Foley artist confer with me and I confer with them and they say, I want you to, <clears throat> I want you to do this and I say, I can't do that. And I say, well, how about this? You know, so it's a good and take. So, yeah, yeah kind of like what we did <laughs> for this show, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so let's look at some of these fun sounds. I know some of the things we do are kind of obvious. So like if, if shoes are walking, we literally take shoes and we make these sounds. They don't even match. So that's high heels. And then there's men's shoes. Yeah, and sometimes they walk really quickly and, and sometimes, sometimes they trip. Skipping. It's still sort of... Bubble on the skipping, but kids sometimes bubble on the skipping. That's right. right. They fall over, or it's like I trip a lot. Um, let's see. Yeah. Jerry does a lot of our like. Uh, he picks up the phone. He opens doors. He shuts the doors. So we have our own little simulated door thing over there. And then some of the sounds we make, like this one, the ringing of telephones, are made out of things you would never expect. Go and stop. Oh right. <laughs> They have such a good rapport. Um, oh, like, how about the coconuts? What are those for? These are horses' hooves. They are used universally for horses' hooves. Even by like Monty Python. It's a good sound. Um, there's like lots of. They have meals, so sometimes we have eating mm -hmm. sounds. And Jerry pours mm -hmm. coffee. And how does it spill it? In front of the mic, it sounds that. better. Yeah, it's, it, all of these, of course, are mic'd very closely. Yep. So we've got people eating or tapping on glass. Oh, yes, yeah, she taps on a glass window. And then uh, Susan also has a little set of bells where she does our radio call signal. Oh, Every yeah, time we say funny. WDMP, she goes... <laughs> um, and then I also love Angie was able to pull some, like, kind of old and authentic things. We were looking and looking to find the sound of cameras clicking. We couldn't find something around here that actually did it, so she just pulled old cameras. And, you know, sometimes you just go straight to the source. Put it yeah. right up by the mic, and, it's, and I love these mics. They look so good, but yet this part, totally useless. What is it, styrofoam? No? Yeah, so um, I think Mr. Mosterm built these for us, and Angie covered them, and then we're actually just using um, regular lavalier mics, and we've taped the element uh tim has just rigged it up right. for us so it always reminds me of like an asmr video he's got another one over here by the by the doorbell and the buzzer <laughs> those are a few of the electronic things that we do those are yeah. actually hooked up yeah but those are the only two things you do that plug <laughs> in right? a real buzzer <gasps> and a real oh, yeah. doorbell there's a slip sound Slipping effect on the ice. this is one of my favorites <laughs> 
Um, this one we didn't get to use, and I was very heartbroken because it didn't work for any of the sounds. But it's a Gatlin gun. It just looks so cool. I it does look cool. Somebody in the fine life must One of the members in the fine life. No, we found it in, um, in, in a Goodwill store. Oh, that's why it says five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Okay. Somebody did a sound effect. Um, well, before we go and uh, wrap this up today, I wanted to see what each of your favorite sound effects was. Susan, what's your favorite one okay. that you get to do in the show? We get to argue over this because we're both trying to do the ding every time the word cheese at is mentioned, and I have... That's a good bell. Um, and then, Jerry, do you have a favorite uh, Foley effect? Besides this one, yes. You don't like the harness. Well, I like this. I like the harness. Okay, so like, oh, let's yeah. end. This is my favorite one. Uh, Chris Kringle bops somebody on the head with his cane, and Jerry does that, and it's super funny. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for showing us all of these really fun, uh, I don't know, props, sound effects. Sound I'm effects. not sure what we call them. Um, They're somewhere in between. Yeah, and we pulled them from all over the place yeah. too, right? Uh, we're so happy to have the two of you joining us in the cast of this show. If you haven't seen the show yet, you can still get tickets if you'd like to see it live in the house um, at dmplayhouse.com.